Hello guys, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use ADB commands on your Android phone without a computer. So you know that if you want to run ADB commands on your Android phone, so you need a computer or a PC. But in this trick, I'll show you how you can use ADB commands directly through your Android phone. So follow this video and you will able to run ADB commands on your Android phone successfully. Okay. So first of all, you need to open any browser. So I'm going to use Chrome browser here, search Mahesh technicals. So when you search Mahesh technicals, you will find this website called MahesHTechnicals.com. Just click on that website. Then you will see this article, which is how to run ADB commands on Android without a computer. If you not found this article, you need to click on search icon and search here ADB. Okay. So let's search ADB and press enter. Then you will find this article. Okay. So we need this article only just open this article and here you can see we are we have all the steps properly with screenshot. So you can read this article and follow these steps to activate ADB commands on your Android phone. But Let's start the video guys. So first of all, you need to click on download section. Now you need to install two applications, which is Shizuku app and a shell application. So both download link is present here. So first of all, going, I'm going to install Shizuku. So you can see that Shizuku app is already installed on my phone. So I'm not going to install again. Now click on a shell application and it is downloading. Okay. So after that, just click on that APK button, then click on package manager and click on install but I already installed that that's why I'm not going to install it again okay so make sure two applications is installed on your Android phone okay now we are going to follow step by step article okay so first of all you need to enable developer options on your Android phone so if you have Xiaomi device so you need to go to Android about phone and click on MIUI version 7 to 8 times but if you don't have Xiaomi device then you can go about phone and click on build number 7 to 8 times okay you will find build number option in your Android phone okay about phone section after that when you click on 7 to 8 times then you able to enable developer options you can find this developer option in your settings okay but if you are using Xiaomi phone, you need to go additional settings and here you will find developer options. Okay. So in the Xiaomi devices, you will find this option in additional settings. Now you need to enable two options, which is USB debugging and USB debugging security. Okay. So if you don't have USB debugging security option, then leave it, but you need to enable USB debugging option. Okay. So let me enable that option. Okay. Now you can see this both option is enabled in my phone. So if you don't have any options on your phone, then leave it. Don't worry. Okay. Just go back. Now open your Shizuku application right now. Now just click on pairing. Now scroll down and click on developer options. Now here you need to find one option which is wireless debugging you can see that wireless debugging so you need to find your wireless debugging option in your developer option here okay so just click on that option now enable this option press ok then click on ag click again now here you will find some options so here you need to click on pair device with pairing code which is last option just click on that and you will find this code here on your screen. Now you can see the notification panel. You need to paste this code into your notification panel. Okay. Just click on enter pairing code here and you have to enter this code here and click on OK and you will successfully connect your Shizuku app using your wireless debugging option. Okay. Now just click on start option. Now your Shizuku application is started successfully. You can see that. Now 
you have unlocked more features here okay so now just click on authorized notifications now here you need to enable ACL application if you don't found ACL application here just clear the Shizuku app from background and again open Shizuku app then go to authorize and you will find this make sure you a uh, you installed ACL application okay now here is my ACL application just open this application now click on start button then boom guys now you able to run adb commands on your android phone directly you can write any commands you want to run on your android phone and just press enter and you you are good to go your adb commands running perfectly without computer and without root guys so with this method you can easily run adb commands on your android phone without root and without a computer okay so if you have queries or questions in your mind you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me on my website comment section as well okay i will definitely answer your questions now if you found this article and video helpful then please like and share this video with your friends and family so with this said uh, we are going to again meet in the next video so thank you so much for watching guys we will meet in the next video